The American Dream here. Always great to have in studio Max Folkers with Remax. Great to have you. Thank you so much. Excited to be here. So midterm elections are coming up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about property taxes. Not everybody wants to talk about it, know, but let's tackle it. Well, I, there's something interesting coming up here. It's called Prop 5. And it has to do specifically with sellers who are over 55. And, you know, anytime the elections come up, there's just all sorts of news and garbage. You know, it gets confusing. So, right. so I wanted to take a second and just kind of point this out because it's going to affect a lot of people potentially. And a lot of people are familiar with Prop 13, mm -hmm. which is what preserves people's tax basis at 1% of what they purchased it at. And then some of the older uh, clients might be familiar with Prop 60 and 90, which allows you to transfer your tax basis when you do sell a house. Okay. And, and I, I've actually got a, an example of this. I, I've got some great clients right now. They bought their house in Scripps Ranch you know, 25 years ago. They had a big family. They wanted the schools. Now they're retired. Now they want to get back to the beach. Right. So, <laughs> so they, the house that they're going to sell, they owe or they bought for about five hundred thousand dollars. So their tax basis is based on five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Well, hey, twenty five years later, they're going to be able to sell it for about a million. But as you and I know, to get back to the beach to get their single family view home, a million bucks isn't going to cut it. Right. So they've got a couple of uh, tough decisions to make. They can either find something less than a million dollars and keep that five hundred thousand dollar tax basis, or they find their dream home. Let's say it's one point two million dollars. Well, now their tax basis is one point two million dollars. So, as as somebody who's retired, possibly on a fixed income, mm -hmm. that's a big hit. It's huge. So the exciting thing about Prop Five, which is coming up in uh, the November elections is it will change the process where you are able to transfer your tax basis not once, like it is under Prop 60 and 90, but several times, and you'll be able to transfer it to a property that's more expensive. Now, there's some mathematical calculations there that will adjust it up a bit, but you won't take nearly the hit that you would you know, as a, as a newly assessed property at say $1.2 million. Wow, people need to know this. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, is it's incredible. Huge. Yeah. Oh, it, it's, it's really a game changer. And certainly California Association of Realtors is, is pitching this as this is really going to free up a lot of inventory because there are a lot of seniors who are sitting on, gosh, I mean, I know some who are still in the house that they bought for $35,000. Right. right. And they can't afford to move. So right. that house, it will never come on the market. Wow, so such great advice that you can really help people mm -hmm. know how to kind of navigate through this, and this might give them some hope and opportunity. Yeah, no, absolutely, and and could certainly do a lot for San Diego in particular, where inventory is at a shortage, mm -hmm. and uh, and and hopefully opening up some homes in in some older neighborhoods where. Yeah, older older clients are just kind of almost trapped in their homes. Right, right. Max, we just love when people like you come on the show to give such key information. Like this is yeah. powerful, important. People need to know they don't they don't always know where to go to yeah. to find this stuff Certainly. out. So I'm so glad that you brought this to us today and it's really great to see you. Thank you for being a part of the show oh, today. You got it. Thank you so much. You're watching the American Dream. We'll be right back.